So a quick note about adding calculated columns and measures to a Power BI file before we actually get our hands dirty and start creating some of our own. There are two options for adding columns and measures. Option one is to select either new measure or new column from the modeling tab. And option two is to actually right click from within the table in the data view or the field list, which is available in either the data or the report view and choose to add a new measure or column from that menu. Now there actually is an important difference between the two approaches. When you insert columns or measures using the modeling tab option, they'll be assigned to whichever table is currently selected or the first table in the field list by default. Now, when I say assigned to a table, I basically just mean this field that we're creating, it has to live somewhere. It has to be organized somewhere within our data model so we can determine what its home table should be. So for instance, measures that are related to sales would likely go into our sales data table, whereas calculated columns related to customers might live in our customer lookup table. It's purely an organizational tool, no impact on actual functionality. Now, if you accidentally insert a measure from the modeling tab and it gets placed or assigned to the wrong table, not a big deal at all. You can easily reassign those measures or columns to new home tables using the properties options within that modeling tab. But going with option two, actually right clicking within the table or the field list lets you be a little bit more deliberate about placing them. So that's the approach that I'm gonna use and that I would recommend that you use as well. Now on the right side of the screen, you'll see a third option there called new quick measure. Now, when you select the quick measure option, you'll see this big dialog box show up with a bunch of calculations and a new field list embedded in that dialog box. And what you've got here are basically like recipes with different calculations to perform different types of analyses. Average per category, weighted average per category, difference from filtered values, time intelligence, and so on and so forth. So the way I think about these is that they're basically pre-built formula templates that kind of help you drag and drop fields rather than actually writing any DAX from scratch. Now, if you've taken any of my other Excel courses, you've probably realized that I hate stuff like this. I feel like these types of tools, they can be helpful in certain instances, I'll give it that, but generally speaking, they kind of just encourage laziness. So they're almost like a crutch that people use to avoid actually learning and understanding the fundamentals of DAX. So if you're in this course learning from me, this is a no shortcut approach. We're just gonna say no to quick measures from now on. So there's your summary for how to add columns or measures. Next up, we're gonna compare implicit versus explicit measures and practice writing our first true measure in our AdventureWorks report.